Whatever happened to Diana, the great goddess of the Ephesians? When the Apostle Paul went to preach in Ephesus, the book of Acts chapter 19, he encountered a big problem because the city was given to idolatry and they were fanatical religious people who followed the goddess Diana, the goddess of the Ephesians that was worshipped in all of Asia and the world. And so when Paul was preaching the gospel, all of a sudden the people rose up against him. And he would find out later that it was Demetrius, a silversmith, who was responsible for making the silver shrines to Diana. And the craftsman who was responsible for making the images of the false goddess also were made rich with this occupation of idolatry with this craft of making images and shrines and temples for a false goddess that people would worship and gladly give money and pay for all these things. Paul came across a big problem because he was preaching the true gospel, the true gospel that does not accept idolatry, does not accept goddess worship, does not accept for people to worship the images that are made by hands. So Paul's preaching stirred up a big thing in Ephesus. In 431 AD, the third council of the Roman Catholic Church was convened in Ephesus. And the article that was acknowledged was that Mary was either the Teotokos the mother of God, or she was Christokos, the mother of Christ or Jesus. And the unanimous vote went with Cyril of Alexandria, who fought and defended that Mary was the mother of God. This is what happened. The Roman Catholic Church in Ephesus, of all places, decided to vote on the dogma that Mary, the mother of Jesus, was not just the mother of Jesus, but she was the mother of God, the Teotokos. And so Diana of the Ephesians, the goddess of the Ephesians, the name changed, and the name that was given to Diana, the goddess of the Ephesians, was Mary, the mother of God.